All right. So, um, what is up, everybody? It's your boy John Deere Man 22 here. Today is March 5th, I want to say. Um, yeah, not really too much going on today. Um, besides what we have going on for today. Um, got a lot of stuff to go through, a lot of stuff going on. It's been quite a big deal for how long now, and it's, yeah. So, um, we got new mods yesterday, which is surprising. And we got new more, we got more mods today. Um, none in which I'm real happy for. Um, there's rarely a freaking, there's not even a freaking good tractor here. Well, besides, let's see, besides the, um, besides the, um, 6010 series John Deere tractors by DB Modding. Um, so that's pretty nice. Um, looks like it does a fairly decent job in a lot of things. Um, don't really know if I'm gonna get it myself because, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of getting tractors that don't look like they're European style, that don't look like they're North American style track tractors or stuff so yeah we have a lot of mods here got a few sheds um got a few sheds here um let's see here we got an old big building we got an we got a farmhouse we got a barn with garage um yeah, we got a seed and fertilizer production thing, which I don't know. I don't know. It just seems to me like it doesn't really do me much good. Look at this. Because, I mean, it really doesn't. So, anyway. Yeah. Um, so, we got Pioneer's map, which the European styled map so yeah it's le yep southern Brazil yep that's where it's that's what it is it's a southern Brazilian Brazilian map yippee um let me check the testing list here real fast um okay so it is changed looks like the serious modding is Case IH Combine that was in testing for all this time is finally gone. We got 565 mods waiting to be tested. Um, I was going to share this piece with you last night, but considering I had a track meet that day and I was tired as all heck, I just wanted to go to bed that day, that night, so I just waited until this morning to... I just waited for this morning to tell you guys, and I'm sorry, once again, the background noise is gonna get disturbing. It's gonna get really bad. But I have, but Sid Modding has said, has sent this uh, just a day ago, so this would be yesterday. Um, Yeah, I have already finished. So he says, twin screw. I have already finished work on the twin screw XBR2, which is the yellow combine that you guys saw in season four. And time, time for STS 5060 and 6070 series combines. And that is perfect. Um, let them keep it going here but four days ago he kept going with this and such so yeah you guys 
But if you guys are, but if you guys are gonna ask on how the um, YouTube channel is co coming along, and it's going along all right. And do I still miss my old channel? Yes, I do. I still miss it. But heck, I there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. So he's gotten a lot done with this. And what configurations? Well, let's see. He's put in for the twin screw. He's put in. I think he's put in a good amount of effort into this. Um, yeah, um, share them, share these in a minute with y'all. I was going to move so that way you could wipe down the table. So, don't mind me, I'm just talking to my camera, I'm doing a YouTube video. Did you know I'm good friends with Sean? Yeah, he's my partner in crime, as Cole Brigger always says. Partner in crime. He's my cousin. Yeah, me and him, we're going to start a farm together. A farm? Yup. Yeah, sure, he's... Sure, I'd have to teach him the ropes. <laughs> teach him a few things, but I think even if he's quick to learn, I think he'll do fine. He probably knows a lot more than you think. My grandpa has a farm and Yeah. Yeah, he's told me about that farm a few times. A few too many? Eh. A few too many times where I've uh, gotten a lot of information out of him. <laughs> Alright, so. Anyway. Um, so some of the... Some of the new stuff that he has done... He's done... What he's done with the... What he's done with this combine, he's added new grain tank extensions. So, um, what configurations did he get for this combine he's done a he's got six track configurations he's got three tank configurations he's got 19 numbers so you can go from one to 19 combines you can own up to 19 of these and then let's see here oversized tags cb radio green star engine configurations hmm eager to see what these can engine configurations are pipe configurations tank color configurations and plates that's about it so he's yeah but if i take pick you guys up and show you guys what that combine looks like that's what she looks like that's her right there. Combine like that, Nick, going into FS22, how, how amazing. And then I'm gonna go and look at EY modding. Sure, he hasn't posted anything since March 30th, which was last, last month. Um, so he submitted the Massey Ferguson 4000 4, four-wheel drive tractor for well he said this in the March 30, 30th post he said the Massey Ferguson 4000 series has been retextured and has submitted it and I submitted it to testing to, and I've submitted it to Mod Hub so yeah there's, he's done a great job the interior looks great he started work on a farm all <laughs> Now, a farm all tractor. What would I want with a farm all tractor on a big map 
that I'm going to be doing in season six. What am I going to be doing with it? Well, to tell you the honest truth, really don't know. I mean, there's not too many mowers and knowing how much horsepower the farm all tractors actually put out in a day they don't really put out that much um i gotta look at farm all here and i'm gonna look at i i swear he said that he was gonna put a c model c tractor an h and i think an m and I don't know if he said, I think someone said that he was going to be putting in an MTA. Couldn't tell you. But the M has, the M has 38 horsepower. Super M's got 51. Super H has got 50, 32. And Super C's got 26. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, we, we've tried, um, yeah, it's trial and error for him, and I can't wait to get a farm all like that. I just have to see on what odds it can actually work with. And I don't think I'll even put it on anything. Besides if like augers come out that that M can, that, that M can run on. Um, planters, no, we want, yeah, let's go with mowers here real quick. Yeah, mowers. Let's see here. No, 110. Um, he, let's see here. Um, so that one's got 90. Of course, you can't really do nothing with 90 ho There's really a good 90 horsepower tractor out there but um yeah what about tedders i'm sure there's a tedder or something tedders and knowing these tedders they're 60 horsepower 34 horsepower um yeah, we, we might have a lot of good stuff here. So, anyway. So, I got all the stuff down for season six. Um, dare I say I'm not going to tell you guys on what I all got down. Because if I did, I'd be spoiling it for you guys and that's that's bad i wouldn't do it i would not spoil it for you guys in any way but let's just say i got one two three four five six seven i got seven tractors and one combine 12 little corn head 40 foot and a bean head of course and well, it's an 8250 combine, Case IH. Heck, there's no John, there's no good U.S. style John Deere combines out yet, so ain't got a choice. Then we got, then we got a disc, two planters, because we got a, because we're gonna have a tandem hitch, and we're just gonna get the tandem with it. get the tandem hitch with it and then we got the um, then we got a cedar for oats then we got um grain cart two wagon well we got four wagons overall a semi a grain trailer for that semi rock trailer for that semi and then we got a rock picker then we got two mowers should put that in. X. There we go. And we got conveyors. We got two conveyors for the rocks. Considering there is no grain storage storage units yet. And all seven of the tractors have jobs. Um. Yeah. 
some of these tractors you may have seen in season five. Um, season five, I've done a. It's been a while since I've done a video to season five, but because I mean it's it, yeah, it's April fifth. Um, is there a chance that I'm going to prom this year? Probably not. I haven't turned in a. I haven't turned in my po. I have not turned in a. I haven't turned in my sheet yet for for that and so anyway yeah looked at a lot of stuff for today um basically i haven't done too much with stuff today and and yeah, judging by the testing list, oh freaking boy! I can only tell you on how upset I am that there's hardly a U.S. style tractor out yet. I mean, yeah, sure, there's been a few. There's been a few U.S. style tractors. Um. Sure, like the 8R, 8RT, 8RX, packed by Sid Modding. Um, then we got the um, case, four-wheel drive. Then we got the um, case IH. Then we got the case IH tractor. And we got New Holland tractors. We got a, yeah, we just got a whole bunch of tractors. We don't have a whole lot of junk. We don't have a whole lot of United States tractors in in game yet. Um, I can distinctly remember what it was when I played FS twenty two. Well, not FS not not FS twenty two. FS nineteen, and I had a tractor that will, and I had a tractor series that which was the eighty nine hundred series. If you guys hear me mention like 80, 8940 and 8950 and so on down the line for, for tractors, you know, for my farm, for my farms back on FS19, and yeah, I've played in FS19 a, a whole lot. I've gone through four seasons. Four seasons, and one of them was a two parter which was season four, the last season of FS19. Pretty sad. Do I miss FS19? Oh yeah, I do. <sighs> Let's see here. Yeah, but I mean, EY Modding's farm home tractor is coming along pretty nice. It's going along pretty nicely. Um, now we go to Julian F Modding, which which March 31st, which wasn't too long ago. I say it was five days ago. He says, no, Alice Chalmers is now an in-game brand. Yeah. Because cause he's always wanted the um, Alice Chalmers tractors, which there was only one Alice tractor in FS19, which was his... A eighty-five fifty foil drive, which put out three hundred and two horsepower. Yeah, he did a pretty good job with it. Working on a YouTube video right now. <laughs> well, I had to get one out today since I didn't get one out yet yesterday. And you and you should have been there at the track meet. You wouldn't have seen my legs move. You would have seen blurs. I ran so fast. Got 13.2 on my 100, and then four by two. We, I, I thought we, I thought you know what this is, this is it, this is the end. I have nothing left in me. I mean, I was, I had just about that much in me left, and Liam was handing off to me, and so then here he comes, you know, hauling down, down the cur curve, and I thought if I don't get moving, he's gonna run straight into me, and we're gonna fall flat on our faces, and we're gonna end up blowing that for ever and 
I, mean, I wouldn't have forgiven myself if that would have happened. And here he comes. We he passed you know, the three other guys that you know, two. Yes, the other two were on our team. So then he passed two of the other. You know, he passed two of the. Yeah, the three other guys. And we got. You know, he got us ahead in the first. And I tell you, I didn't let any of those guys pass me. I bet I was about. I bet it was about that far away from that. You know, from them and they. They, I look. I look back once, and they they were just right behind. They were far behind me. I was like, you know what, piece of cake. Thanks. Anyway, yeah. Just talking to one of my teachers. Um, getting um, getting a heck of a good job in here. So. Anyway, um. I'm not sure about Julian F. Monning's International 86 series. I know you guys have seen that in season four, part two. Quite towards halfway through season four, part two. We had, now we go into, oh, whoops. Didn't mean the, oh, come on. Had it going straight down the list. UI Modding, then we, then we go Julian F modding. Then we go and we delete that. Then we go with Sid modding. Now we go from J H G mod J H H G modding, which he hasn't posted hardly anything besides what he posted two days ago. He posted this release extended PC version. Sunday fun day. Our first extended PC version release in FS22. Here it is here. Have fun. And it is the John Deere set 1720 six, six row 30 inch stack fold and planter from, and it's a 2012, so soon, soon for consoles, but that's that's all he's had. That's all I got from him. I haven't heard much about. I haven't heard much about in his John Deere seventy-eight ten yet, and that's a United States style tractor, which that is beautiful. By the way, it, I don't think I've ever seen something so ridiculously good. So anyway, yeah we. Work real hard on that. Then we go from JHHG modding to MRG mapping. And we go right to his post on March 23rd. And he's gotten he's gotten a map made. I don't think it's gonna be out for consoles, though. He's got L Cater, 16 inch map and by 16, well it's a 16 time, 16 X map. So that's the only post that, that's the only recent post we've gotten from him. Then we got, you know, I don't remember how, they, I can't, I can't pronounce the name even if I tried, but what I've been wanting to see is his, this guy's is a Mack truck that he's been putting on in the FS22. And it, I mean, it's a Mack truck. It's a Mack pack. <laughs> Good name for it, too. This comes with a... And this pack comes with a... Two Mack trucks. One a grain truck, one a semi. And... We got a, two grain trailers. We got two grain trailers. I don't know why I held up three, but we got three. We got two grain trailers. I don't know why I keep saying three. We got two grain trailers, a pup trailer for the Mac, and we got a grain trailer for the semi. We've done, yeah, but yeah, that's a, a good job. Now, the JA modding, you haven't gone too much in the M since. Since the last time I remember. 
April 3rd was his last post. Oh yeah, J.A. Modding, he's been working on that John Deere tractor for a long, long time. And he's gotten the, um, he's got the 16, uh, I think, yeah, it's this, it's a 600 grain cart, the John Deere 600 grain cart. He's already got that teased already. Sheesh, I can't believe it. I couldn't believe it even if I had seen it with my own two eyes. Then, we, then the last guy on the list today is Black Sheep Modding. Now, I haven't talked a whole lot about Black Sheep Modding in over a few days. April 1st was his only post, which he hasn't said nothing about it, the 40 series or anything like that, so. Yeah, um, but going back to Sid Modding's page. Um, we got a whole lot of stuff. We got a whole lot of stuff to go on, go through. We got a whole bunch of stuff to knock out. Um, we have a ton of stuff, tons, tons, and I do mean tons of stuff. Um, we've tried our best. I've tried my best. I, let's see, I've tried my best. Let's see, we've had a, we have a lot of tractors here, seven of them. Think to be exact, I was gonna put eight down, but yeah, I don't know. I was basically just gonna keep out of that entire thing because of because there's hardly any belt systems or anything like that. Let's see, here. we do not have, yep, there we go, belt systems. We barely have anything. We don't even have one auger out for it. <sighs> Sorry about that. I'm tired. I'm, yeah, I'm just tired as all living heck. We've, I mean, I just can't, I can't, I can't begin to imagine on how frustrating this is in since, since, yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, but, yeah, last night's track meet was great. Ran, ran my ass off just to um, get, get done, but um, I'm looking at me and Sean's farm. Um, we've worked at, we've, we've been working on getting equipment, working on figuring out where everything was, everything's gonna go. What we're basically gonna do is we're gonna have a shed put up and it's gonna have a living quarters in it too. haunting so anyway we've tried our best to get this in there pretty much knocked down to um, fairly decent size so anyway yeah so got a lot of work to do that farm's got I mean to get the farm looking as slick and as nice as you can possibly get it, we're gonna need a heck of a good job of mowing. First of all, probably the yard's gonna need mowing. <coughs> and then we'll... And 
And yeah, we'd have to look and see what meh, it's in all the buildings. I'm sure there's probably nothing there because a lot of the because all the equipment that the recent farmer has or the recent farmer that owned the farm. Well, this well, the farm that we're getting is Harlan de Groot's farm, and Hayes is some farmer right now. They only got the well, they got the land rented out, <coughs> and um, both both Harlan and his wife have sadly passed passed away, and the house and I don't even think ever is even fit to live in so we got a living we're gonna have a living quarters attached onto the machine shed that we're gonna be putting up there's another shed on the farm is there's actually a few sheds on the farm but a few of the buildings are gonna get knocked down because because we can't do a whole lot about it considering that the living quarters that we're gonna have on the farm is going to be for the Iowa Country Farms live streams and and such. And yeah, basically getting parts and all that sort of stuff for stuff. So um, we have all the equipment picked out. Sure, we're not going to get all this equipment right away. Um. I mean, she was, we got six grain trucks and five wagons. We're going to be going through about three combines. Well, we're going to only be going through one combine, considering that two of them are going to stay. One of them is going to go. Dare I say I showed off a lot of the equipment, so. The 8820 that we're we're gonna be using is, is something just a tad bit nicer well it's a, it's a whole lot older than the, than the STS than the 9550 the 9550 is a basically not the greatest in track it is not the greatest in a combine but it's a whole lot bigger it's a bigger styled combine with not so much as duels on the side and grain tank extension that's what I like so anyway we got a Minneapolis Moline and a white tractor now and yeah we've gotten I don't know we've gotten the starting equipment picked out the starting equipment is picked out for a whole lot of the stuff um, got a land all disc, um, case I field cultivator, but anyway, I say this video is about long enough, so I guess, I guess, yeah. See you guys later, and make sure to subscribe to my channel at John Deere Man 22. As always, see you guys later, see you guys tomorrow.